Alrighty then, what are we gonna do today? Let's check the polls real quick. So poll, open, yep. 160 votes, <laughs> oh my goodness. 135 say yes to Town Hall 8. Alrighty then, let's go. There we are, and here's the best part about the builder's book, or the book of building. Yes, I would like to finish this Town Hall right meow. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome to episode one of Town Hall 8 free to play. So if you missed the previous 14 episodes, we did 20 days, Town Hall 7, free to play, no gems, no money spent, and we built it all the way to this level right here. Now, obviously this is a little bit different than what you might see considering we still have an upgrade in our laboratory. So the laboratory upgrade is gonna have to hold off. Now that we're at Town Hall 8, we can upgrade the laboratory, but we have one in there and I'm not necessarily sure if we can actually upgrade while there's something in there, we're not even gonna worry about it. We'll get that one done after the wizards are complete to level four. And let's go ahead and get into the shop and see what we got. Oh my gosh, 68 new items. I It's been a while since I've been to Town Hall 8. So we got some dark barracks, we got a dark spell factory. That's gonna be important. We're gonna have to build very soon to unlock the poison spell. Resources, we got a gold storage and an elixir storage. So I'm gonna start off from the start with the gold storage and the elixir storage because we need to go ahead and improve and increase the amount of gold and elixir that we can store on our base. That is extremely important. So, you know, the faster you get these done and upgraded to the same level as the other ones, the more storage capacity that we can hold for our gold and elixir. So we got a little bit of loot going on here, 2.3 million after the upgrade. We got some stuff stowed away in our treasury in the clan castle. So we'll be sure to probably go into reserve and use that in this episode. All right, so we got two things going for 15 minutes. We'll let that work and let's check out the defenses. New archer tower, new mortar, new wall, Oh my goodness, we gotta do walls again. Our uh, uh, hidden Tesla, wizard tower, and the bomb tower. Alrighty then. So we'll get into this stuff here in a minute. We got some traps as well. We got spring trap, giant bomb, skeleton traps. Oh, very nice. And then air bombs and seeking air mines. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these and we will probably upgrade those in the next day or so or in the course of the next day or so and catch them up to the levels that the other ones are currently on this base. So we're gonna build our air bombs let's go back to our traps we got a giant bomb i like that another giant bomb for the hogs you know a little bit of hog defense and then we got the seeking air mine we got two builders remaining and let's see here skeleton trap why not let's put the skeleton traps down skeleton traps are complete we'll upgrade upgrade those in the uh maybe the course of this video maybe after the video i don't know so we got some icons going on here uh bigger and better upgrade to town hall level eight free 20 gems i like that so we got 10 more icons oh my hot goodness all right so we got i love i'm nyan from ph town hall eight home pogbra king interesting name i like it low from constantine's uh jlc dios eres uh silly sausage 221 <laughs> oh my gosh uh i cannot something nepal i'm not going to try to butcher your name i do apologize from beer belly mafia <laughs> wow uh skyco depths king destroyer from the barbarians all right we're going to add you guys and when we got to get into our question of the day so thank you guys for watching us here on this series it's been a lot of fun doing all this good stuff for you guys and question of the day let's see here what do we got for question of the day we got a bunch of them actually but we're gonna pick one we got one from chunky 0811 question of the day what is your favorite thing to do on clash of clans you know the funny thing is i actually read that comment earlier and i was kind of like debating on this you know what, I, I really find a lot of enjoyment out of building these bases, maxing them out, not necessarily building the designs. Yeah, I'm not my thing. I'm not really a big fan of building base designs, but I like farming these bases up to max. It's 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 genuinely a good time for me. Now, I used to be a big clan war enth enthusiast, guys. I used to love me some clan war and uh, attacking, and but every clan that I do that with, like they tend to get like really serious about it, and then it gets really unfun for me. I don't know, like I just, when it comes 
comes to assigning times and I got to be here at this time to attack a base, it's just not fun for me. Anyway. So I, I think my favorite thing to do is farm up bases right now. That's where we're looking and also helping you guys out here on YouTube. And if you have a question for yourself, make sure that you hashtag question of the day down in the comments below. So let's get started. We got uh, two builders available. We got five icons here in our rewards. We got some free gold. Let's grab that. We got a clock tower potion. Sure, why not? Dark Elixir, we got two things of Dark Elixir. So I'll tell you what, we got 27,000 Dark Elixir remaining. So I started 46,000 Dark Elixir and 27 is all that, all that remains after the season pass ended and I gained a lot of Dark Elixir that I couldn't spend. Tell me how that makes a lot of sense. Thanks a lot. We just gave away a free Dark Elixir for the last couple of days. All right, so since we have Dark Elixir to spend, we're going to spend 22.5 on our Barb King. And we also have a Book of Heroes. Why not? Let's go ahead and get that builder back, and we'll get him up to level 6. So that'll leave me with four levels on the King, and we're going to probably try to max him out as quick as possible. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and use the final two builders. So we got 15 minutes. We're going to keep going. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. On these two buildings here, the gold storage and an elixir storage, we're going to keep going. We're going to go all the way up to level 11. Do these go up again? No, they don't. So level 11 is as high as I'm going to take those. And that's what I'm going to focus on for the next day or so on those. We're going to keep going. They might be still available. We're still upgrading tomorrow when we do the next episode. But... We're gonna let that go. So that leaves us with two builders exactly. And with those two builders, I'm gonna go ahead and build, uh, this is debatable, eight hours on that, eight hours on the Dark Spell Factory. And we have a couple of items. So let's go ahead and build some new defenses and I will work on those and rotate through. Don't worry about upgrade order. We'll talk about upgrade order in the upcoming weeks as we progress. So we do have some new walls. Let's go ahead and get those new walls. Uh, oh my goodness, this is a lot of walls. I am not looking forward to this. All right, so just like before on Town Hall 7, I'm going to go in groups of four, and let me see if I can do this. Four, and I'm going to keep going. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and we built all the new wall pieces. We're going to do probably a similar manner that we did in the last one where we kind of upgraded them as we go, but uh, I'm going to farm those up and probably do them off screen because we're going to go ahead and probably build, uh, use one builder to build new defenses. We got new defenses. And I just realized that there's a upgrade that is extremely, extremely important for Town Hall 8 that I really want to get done as soon as possible. So we got three hours, three hours, three hours, and one day. I'm going to probably, uh, uh, this is kind of a tough decision, really tough decision. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. So we got 2.4 million on the elixir, 3 million on the gold. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and build the clan castle. So obviously by looking at this, this is extremely important. You gain five more housing, which bumps you up to be able to accept a dragon. And then you also gain a spell slot. So now that, you know, once this is finished upgrading, I can gain or request poison spells. So, or earthquake spells. That's also a very important one as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And that will put us out for one day. And by the time we record tomorrow, this should be done. And then I don't think we'll be ready by clan war. No, we're not in a clan war. So we will be ready by the time clan war starts. That is a good thing. So one of the first up upgrades or first few upgrades would be laboratory clan castle and then the dark spell factory and we'll probably put that down here at the end of the video and possibly we'll see so let's go ahead and get into some global raids and see what is available out there i think we gained some practice rounds as well uh town hall nine so remember if you were have you been following us this entire time we were up in crystal one and we were pushing as a Town Hall 7. Now we were finding a bunch of Town Hall 9s. And if we continue to find Town Hall 9s, I tell you what I'm going to probably do after the recording is drop back down in trophies. Because I need dark or I need dead loot. Dead loot, meaning dead bases, a lot of gold, a lot of elixir. And we need dark elixir. But unfortunately, fa you know, facing off against Town Hall 9s is a little bit more challenging than I'd like with Town Hall 7 troops. We're still rocking Town Hall 7 troops right now. And we need to upgrade our... Our troops as we progress but we got one in there upgrading right now so it looks like we got uh town hall nines galore 
Lots of Town Hall 9. So we're going to probably drop back down to Crystal 3 and see what is available. All right, for those of you that don't know how to do this, and I don't know why you wouldn't know how to do this, but if you want to drop down in trophies really quick, just use your, your heroes. Use your king to do it. Just drop them on the map and surrender. Pretty self-explanatory. And I know some of you are out there saying, No! No, Joe, no! Why are you dropping down? Uh, there's no loot up there. That's why we have to get the loot. We, <laughs> we need loot guys and trophies is not ideal right now. So I needed to drop back down into a zone where there's other town hall eights, possibly some dead town hall eights and a lot of loot. So we're definitely in need of loot right now. And I don't, I'm not, I don't care about trophies right now. I need to increase the level of my base, increase the level of my troops in order to trophy push. That is the, the key right now. That is ideal. And you can see even still being in crystal three, we are still finding a town hall nines and town hall nines that don't have any loot at that. I mean, 200,000 doesn't, it seems like a lot to maybe some of you, but to me, that's not really much at all. So we're down under 2000 in trophies, but we are still finding town hall nines. Let's, let's search a little bit. I'm trying not to talk too much. We might, uh, search a little bit and find one real quick. A few moments later. Okay. So this one's not bad. It's not dead loot, but it's got some pretty good loot. It's a town hall eight max. It's a max town hall eight, uh, air defenses right here. We got dragons as a matter of fact, so we can see if we can pull the 384,000 gold off of this base. And let's go ahead and use this Town Hall 7 pushing army and see what we can pull off of this bad boy. Let's go ahead and drop our archers and our minions. An archer down there. And just in case we don't get the three star, we might get a two star. Who knows? But uh, we got a little bit of coverage right here. There's no archer tower coverage right there. So let's go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that poor minion. That poor guy just got roasted. I mean, he just got smoked right from the beginning. All right, let's go ahead and drop our new level six king. We got another. Oh, my goodness. We got. Oh, gosh. Stop. Stop it right now. My poor king is getting bamboozled. He's getting bamboozled by an archer tower, a barbarian king, and a uh, hidden Tesla. All right. Well, that's that's nice. All right. Let's uh, let's try to make the best out of this. Let's uh, drop some dragons. Let's get dragons there. And let's hold on to them for a second. We got some dragons over here. Moving into the air defense, about to get smoked. Oh, that sucks. All right. So let's go ahead and get our balloons down over here. Let's drop a rage spell there. And let's drop a rage spell right there. Balloons launch down into the air sweeper. Dragons are going to go down into the second air defense. Balloons are going to wrap around. Come on, guys. Come on. No. No. And look, two spectators. Really, right now? We're going to go spectate somebody. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's what's about to happen. All right, Dragon is on the Town Hall. Eh, it's whatever. Let's get the balloons to get through there and take down some of these defenses at least and try to get some of this gold off of this base. So we got Archer Towers right there. Two air defenses survived. Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, my God. Well, this is a good way to open up a uh, free-to-play series, right? <laughs> Getting smoked by some air defenses, huh? Oh, well, it's no big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, Dragon's going to do that number. Let's drop our archers there. Let's drop some minions there. Three spectators. We're up to three spectators right now. Are you kidding me right now? What is this? Get out of here. Stop watching me. <laughs> All right, so uh, 71 or 72% one star. I, look, guys, I don't care about the win here. I just want the gold and stuff, and it didn't look like we pulled much off of this. So we still failed miserably, right? All right, 75% one star. <laughs> that is junk, dude. Get out of here. All right, let me get some balloons. We'll be right back. Okay, so that was a very poor representation for what I'm all about. We got a lot of loot on this one, and we're going to get all of it. I don't even care at this point. So the king is definitely sleeping. He's not with us right now. He had to go night night, take a nap for a little while. So we're just going to go ahead and raid a little bit. Get rid of these dragons, and then we're going to cook a giant army after this. A giant army, guys. Uh, looks like we don't have a lot of archer tower coverage. Uh, can we get this one back here? No, we cannot. Ooh, the cannon just smoked that archer immediately. All right, uh, let's grab some of this. Let's grab some of that. I think we might be outside of range of that archer tower. And uh, what do we got going on up here? We got an air defense right there on the edge. We got a mortar, so that's a good thing. Let's drop the minion there. Hmm... Let's drop a minion over here. And what we're doing right now is basically just kind of clearing out some funnel, you know, allowing 
for the dragons to centralize. We want the dragons to focus inside this base. Look, we already got one spectator. This is crazy. I don't get it. All right, so we know that we got one air defense there, one air defense there, and one down here at the bottom of the base. So not necessarily the best idea to go in on this one with dragons, uh, considering we have a lot of defenses. We need to go ahead and get cracking on this, though. Stop talking about it and do it, right? <laughs> Stop talking about it and be about it, right? All right, so let's drop some dragons over here. And let's drop a rage spell to get through this location here. And we're going to let those dragons work a little bit before I drop the balloons. The dragons are going to move into the central compartment, taking on that first air defense. They will get that first air defense down. Let's go ahead and drop a rage spell there and then drop our balloons. Let's get the balloons in. Maybe. Oh, man, we could have probably held on to those balloons, huh? All right, so dragons take down the second air defense. And we got one down here at the bottom of the base. And it looks like we got... Uh, two archer towers and a air defense. Let's go ahead and speed these dragons up to get across there. Get in that set, that third air defense and take it down. There it is. Very nice. That air defense will fall and we will be able to pull off a nice three star here. But we're going to gain some pretty solid loot off of it as well. And that is exactly what we wanted to do, guys. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted all that nice juicy loot to go into my storages. That way we can start putting it into our base. And that is what we're going to be focusing on for the next couple of days. But we're not going to use dragons to do it, guys. Dragons is more for pushing as a Town Hall 7. It's a great clan war army for Town Hall 8 but it's not necessarily a good farming army so we're going to use this army right here and we're going to we're basically regenerating this army again and we're going to start using it to farm and i gotta let that train as a matter of fact i think that's going to probably wrap us up for today as a matter of fact so we got three builders up and like i said we're going to put this down and we're going to keep these going for the next couple of hours uh while i'm off screen and i'm going to go ahead and dump let's see what we got here do we have anything in our treasury? Tell you what, let's go ahead and spend a bunch of loot real quick. So we got a bunch of elixir and we got one builder. So let's go ahead and select. Hold that thought. Later. All right. Isn't that the prettiest thing you've ever seen already? We're already going into pink walls. So while I'm offline, I'm going to probably finish out these into pink walls and we might start doing some purples, something like that, whatever. And we'll build the new defenses. So I got one. No, you know what? We're not going to do that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I am going to spend this elixir. So we got 4.1 million elixir. Now I'm a, I'm going to say this. I'm a greedy player. Like I don't like to leave loot on my base for players to come raid me. You know what I mean? Like that's just the way I feel. I hate having a ton of loot and not spending it. And then I get raided and I lose like 300,000, 400,000 of it. It's just brutal. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We got one upgrade in our laboratory right now. I still got about two days on that bad boy. That wizard's going to take his time to finish. We can't can't spend any gems remember so we're trying to save up for that fifth builder and we are going to go ahead and spend all of that elixir right now let's go ahead and go into our dark spell factory dark spell factory and we're going to go ahead and build that so we got eight hours on that bad boy and in the meantime i will farm up and fill up my storages again and we're going to finish out our walls and build the new defenses while we're off cam and we'll check it out tomorrow guys so uh that's just a little bit of an opener to get us started town hall eight we're we're new we're getting started we're gonna get to work and we're gonna power this one out and try to get this one maxed out as quickly as humanly possible and in the upcoming weeks we'll be doing clan wars and we'll be doing clan games again probably and also once we get a little bit closer to maxed out then we'll start pushing again and gaining a lot of trophies but if you enjoy the content today guys smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and we'll see you in the next one guys take care